Hey there, folks, and welcome to day 16 of the summer of 619. Today we are playing Action 52 for the Sega Genesis. Oh god, why am I doing this? Honestly, why am I doing this? And here, I think I think the game has gone into demo mode. Um, seriously, why am I doing this? Why am I playing this game? We did this last year where uh, I played Action 52 for the NES. And that was torture. That was very, very bad. And now we're doing it again. Uh, this time for the Sega Genesis, because there was a Sega Genesis release of Action 52. Um, here's the title screen again. So, let's just get into it. Uh, today we're gonna play 13 games, uh, because this is gonna be split into 14- uh, blah, blah. It's gonna be split into four parts. And, um, I will be playing the entire game over the course of the next four days. Um... So, let's play 13 games today, and then we'll play another 13, yeah, you get it. Uh, let's start with Bonkers. Um, I wonder if the names here are as absolutely ridiculous as the names were in the NES version, where there was a game called, like, Bob or some shit, and it was about a frog in New York. Let's see. Go Bonkers! I'm sure I will. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember this game. Uh, it's basically... I don't know what a ri what ripoff of this uh, this is, but I know it's, it's got to be a ripoff of something. Um, one thing I want to note is that, you know, you, you see how I'm, uh, how I'm destroying the green blocks? Well, the goal of the game is to destroy blocks, and that's why they're, uh, they're color-coded. There's uh, pink, red, and blue. I'll switch to red right now, and I can destroy the red blocks. The problem is, uh, for the beginning blocks, they're green, and there's no way, if, if you turn blue or red or pink, uh, there's no way to turn back green. So what you have to do is come over here, not, not here, right here, and you have to kill yourself, because they didn't bother coding an option that would turn you back to the default color. Incredible. We're already off to a great fucking start with this game. And I cursed, so... Uh, the challenge that was left to me by Volgaz97, I hope I'm pronouncing that, pronouncing that right, um, to beat one of these games without swearing, uh, that's already been broken with bonkers. Uh, this game is absolutely terrible, um, and for, for, for the challenge of not, of beating one of these games and not swearing, I'm sure I can do it, uh, the not swearing part, but the actually beating one of these games part, I'm not so sure, because I do think that this is a worse overall game than the, uh, the first Action 52, because at least that game, that game was clearly not finished, that game was broken. Um, see, see? How the fuck do I- see, look, look at that. How do I turn back to green? You fucking can't! So all these blocks over here, all these fucking blocks, they remain like this, and I don't think you can get rid of them. Fucking ridiculous. I'm pressing everything, and I can't turn turn back green, so fuck this game. Fuck bonkers. And yeah, the game dumps you back to the title screen every single fucking time. What a game this is. Let's play Dark Sign. Or Dark Sin. I don't know. And this, gave, this gives you a title screen. Uh, apparently the title screen is broken. Level 1. Level one. Fuck you. Okay, this is a. Uh, okay, this is a game where you die. Level one. Uh, no, really, this is uh, this is a game where you pilot a spacecraft. What the fuck? Pilot a uh, spacecraft, and you have to um, I don't know. Can you destroy these things? Yeah, you can. This is enthralling gameplay. Oh my god. Yeah, so touching the walls makes you explode. That makes a lot of sense. Um, let's get rid of this motherfucker. No! God damn! Okay, I paused the game, my bad. Game over. And it takes you back to the title screen. Amazing. Okay, we're actually gonna try to... We're gonna try to do something here. Not beat the game. But, um... We're gonna try to actually get past the first two obstacles. No, no, motherfuck. This thing is too hard to control. 
Level 1. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck off. Okay. Dino Tennis. If I remember this correctly, Dino Tennis is broken. Like, it's a two player game that doesn't work uh, because there's no. Let's see if we. Yeah. See, it doesn't work. The game doesn't work at all. The other player. Because you have to have another player to play the game, and there's no there's no port for a controller that's plugged in, so the game doesn't recognize that, I think. Or at least I can't fucking play it. So, I guess that's that. Okay, I'm done with this. Oh, God, number four is ooze. Oh, God, why? Why? Let's try to beat ooze without cursing. It's gonna be impossible. I'll just tell you right now. Okay. In a typical Action 52 fashion, they don't tell you what's going on, so I will. Uh, you have to collect the keys. For what reason, I have no clue. They don't tell you. I don't think there is one. Um, these controls are absolutely terrible. It feels like the guy is a rock. In fact, I covered this in my review of this, because I've reviewed this, this version of this game. Um... You can't jump and shoot at the same time, which um, Silent Rob played this once, and he said that uh, shooting and jumping at the same time has been a staple in video games since 1983, but apparently uh, the mother... F oh, I almost cursed. I almost said mother F. Um, the people, the kind people at... Um, I don't even know who developed this. It doesn't matter. But they didn't, they didn't bother coding in... Uh, shooting and jumping at the same time. So, that that's gonna be an annoyance. You also can't shoot up. So, yeah. And the game has falling damage on top of all this. Uh, so, yeah. And the, the guy controls so awkwardly that... I mean, he drops like a rock. It's, it's impossible to, you know, navigate anywhere because... I mean, the guy just drops... Oh, I'm dead! Ugh! Ugh! That's the sound the guy's gonna make every time he dies. Ugh! Even, even the enemies make that sound. And by the way, you think this is a platform? Let's see. Oh, it wasn't, and I got killed by falling damage. What a bunch of bull crap. You know, let's, let's just see how far I can make it. And of course, you can't see, like... You can't see three feet ahead of you because, oh my goodness, this game. Oh my god. And I'd like to, I'd like to, no! Okay, there we go. See, you can't jump and shoot at the same time, so you can't kill these guys at all. And, um, the shooting is the, the same angle if, if you're crouching and if you're standing. It's the same exact angle, so don't even, oh my god. <sighs> Level one. Oh my god. So don't bother crouching and shooting because it doesn't work. Um, oh my god, I'm dead again. Level. I have one life left. Um, I, like I said, I can't beat any of these games. Because as you'll see, they're absolute abominations. Uh, no, I can't jump because the cute blue bee is gonna kill me. No! Oh my fucking god, piece of shit! Okay, I had to get that out. I'm sorry, guys. See, this game makes me irrationally angry. Let's play Star Ball. I wonder what Star Ball is. Is this the pinball game? Yeah, it is. Motherfucking piece of shit. It's a game where you play pinball. It's like, as you'll see, most of the games... And Action 52 for the Genesis are just ripoffs of of other games. Like there's there's a Minesweeper ripoff in this game, I think. Um, there's a pinball ripoff, as as you're seeing right now. This is ridiculous. This is ab absolutely ridiculous. And of course, the game doesn't tell you what to, what the what the fuck. Level. It went right through the paddle. The ball went right through the paddle. The game doesn't tell you what to do or how many points you need to, to move to the next level. 
So, of course, you're just stuck here playing pinball until something happens. The, the, the announcer lady tells you, Level completed. Level two. Okay, come on. Come on. Anyways, this sucks. If you hadn't noticed by now, this sucks. This is terrible. By the way, the, the music in this game is so Genesis. It's that, you know, that very funky style of music. I, I like it, but the music in here is not that great. Like, the main theme is great, and there's some other tracks in the in the game that are passable, but besides that, it's pretty much your, your, your standard, generic Genesis funk. Okay, I'm done playing pinball. This is ridiculous. Bum, bum, bum. See, this is the music I'm talking about. Alright. Sidewinder. Let's play Sidewinder. Because why not? Oh, I know what this game is a, a, a ripoff of. I mean, I don't know what game it, it's a ripoff of, but I know what game this is. Um, if somebody would be so kind as to tell me what this is a ripoff of, because I know that this is not... This is not an original Action 52 masterpiece. Um, missile threat. Okay. So, it's a game where you have to, uh, defeat spaceships. And by the way, since all these games were made on the same engine, as you're going to see, uh, they all look the same. Like, all the shooters look exactly like this. Uh, of course, like I said, in action, in, in typical Action 52 fashion, they don't tell you what's going on. They don't give you any points. They don't tell you what the fuck is going on. So, yeah. Let's just fly. Let's fly, guys. Missile threat. Okay, let's actually try and do something here. Oh, shit. I actually beat the level. Sweet. Is there going to be a change in scenery for level two? No! It's the same level as before! Amazing. Just amazing. <sighs> Fucking piece of shit. I hate this game. I really hate this game. This is... Because at least Action 52 on the NES was sort of funny. This game is not funny. There, we've, we've already played this game. This is not funny anymore. And by the way, this game doesn't even have the glitches that the first game had. So it's just a bad game. Okay, I'm done playing Sidewinder. Fuck off. Okay. Let's try Daytona. Alright, I know what this game is. Level. This game doesn't tell you any of the controls, so let I'll let you see what happens. Yep, the two other cars just blaze the fuck off. And I don't think... I honestly don't think they even show back up. Like, I don't think they're there. I don't think the cars are actually there. I mean, I'm speeding up and I don't see them. And they don't have a massive lead on me. They can't. Unless they're going at the speed of light. And this is all, all you do in this game. You can change gears, I think, but I'm not really sure what that does. This is all this game is. This is like those cheap games that they would sell at Walgreens. It would be like a fake Game Boy or something. And they would have like 15 of these. This is what this is. This is absolute trash. This game is trash. And do you think you can actually go off the course? Holy shit! I didn't know you could go off the course. I mean, un until the trees fucking hit you. And by the way, that, that looks seizure-inducing, so I'm gonna stop doing that. I apologize if, uh, if that messed with any of your guys' vision. Oh my god. So, so this is all the game is. It's just going around like this. Isn't this fun, guys? Isn't this worth $200? Well, to be fair, I don't know if this version cost $200. I'm assuming it did, just because the NES version did. But honestly, who 
who thought this was a good idea to do this? Honestly, I'm done. I'm done with whatever this game is. I don't even remember the name. Daytona, I think it was called. Okay, let's Paul. Let's Paul. Let's play 15 puzzle. Level one. Are you fucking kidding me? This is a game. I guess I have to rearrange all of them. Are you kidding me? Is this is this actually what they consider to be a fucking game? Oh my god, what a piece of shit this game is, honestly. Actually, I think that was in the right slot. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, this it wasn't in the right slot. Uh, six, and then seven, and then eight should be here. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. To be 100% honest, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I, I'm done. I'm not gonna do this. This is absolutely terrible. Like that, they put that in. A, they put that in this game because they were so desperate to find fucking 52 games. And as you'll see, the last game. I'm not gonna spoil what the last game is, but it's it's just so ridiculous. Actually, you know what? It's not the 52nd game, it's the 51st. The 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 51st game is the last actual game, and then this is just a, a bullshit uh, combination of all the other games in a challenge mode. But this game right here, fifth first game, what they call first game, I'm not gonna spoil what that is, but <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What's the next game? Sketch. If if this is a ripoff of Microsoft Paint, which I think it is, let's see. Huh, that's exactly what it is. Okay, how do you draw? Okay. Okay, let's see if I can draw something here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. It's like that. Uh, it's like that. That uh, first opening level in Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're doing this. Okay, we're doing it. This game blows because it fucking does. Goodbye piece of shit. I can't believe they put that into a... I can't believe they put this into that game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Star Duel. Number 10. I bet this is gonna be a space shooter. Oh. Oh my god. It's a space shooter. I'm so surprised. And this is another one of the games that doesn't work because you need two players to play it. It's like the first game on Action 52 for the uh, NES. What, what was that called? Like, Dragon? Like, I don't remember what it was called, but it was about towers and dragons, and the other guy didn't work because he didn't want to. And... Yeah. There's no other port in the Sega Genesis, so... It's not like the Genesis is telling the game that there's another person playing. There isn't. So, we're done with that. We're done with that. It's, it's over for that. Oh, Haunted Hill. That's the next game. Um, Haunted Hill. This one is interesting because this was in the first game. And I think you played as, like, uh, a, a lady with huge breasts and, like, you, you evaded ghosts. So I don't know what this is about, but if I remember correctly, this has the same controls as Ooze, where the guy just drops to the fucking ground... Yeah, it does. It's exactly like that. It's terrible. He, oh my god, look at that attack! How are you supposed to defend yourself against anything? Look at that! Oh, and he's dead! Level one. Okay, let's do this! Ugh, ugh. I can't- I can't defend against that- that huge bat. It's impossible. Okay, it's not gonna happen. And the- the game doesn't even let you, uh... 
the game does not even allow you to to uh, duck. I don't know what the point of collecting these things is. Uh, the game has not told me, so I don't know. Um, I am assuming that in this game you take falling damage as well, so I'm, I'm gonna try not to drop from a foot off the ground. No! Oh my fucking god, I'm dead. The sound he makes when he dies is hilarious too. It's like he's- it's like they've torn his cock off or something. And you know what? I'm not gonna go for these stupid little purple things. I'm gonna try to, uh... No! Oh my god. I'm gonna try to go for the, um... Level. Uh... I'm gonna try to reach the end of the level. Fuck trying to actually get get these things that don't matter. Because I don't think they matter in the actual game. Oh shit, here comes the bat. And there's the rat. Which I have to jump over. Oh, what the fuck? That was a hand? Was that a hand? Level one. Oh my god, this game. They don't tell you what's going on. They don't tell you what's going on. There's no score. There's no scoreboard. Scoreboard. They just don't give a shit. Here comes the bat again. Oh my god, you stupid shit. Game over. Well, okay then. Um. I guess that's the end of that. Uh, let's see something. So... I said we were going to play 13 games today, but the last game we have to play is Cheetahmen. And I want to save Cheetahmen for the final part of this. So, the last game we play today will be actually Alfredo. So, let's play Alfredo. Is the game... Oh my god, the game isn't loading. Alfredo does not work... <laughs> Alfredo does not work on the Sega Genesis version of this game. What the fuck? It didn't work on the NES version either. The only way you could play Alfredo <laughs> The only way you could play Alfredo on the NES version was Wait a minute, there's a sound. I can hear some sound in the background. What the fuck is that? Is there a game? Holy shit. Alfredo does not work on this version either. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Alfredo doesn't work. I, I'm like, I'm stunned that Alfredo doesn't work on this version either. That had to be a joke. That had to be a joke with the programmers because there's no way that both games would not work. On the same fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well that's it. I'm done for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Action 52 for the Genesis. I cannot believe that this game doesn't work. I'm stunned. Oh my god. Alfredo. Why?